What's going on guys, Darnell here with Browns Performance. Today we got Tim here with us. We're gonna be building one of our BP700s and figure we'd bring you guys along. BP700 is a short block that we recommend for people somewhere around the five to 600 horsepower range. Uh, figure we just show you guys what goes into it. Morning everybody, Tim at Browns Performance. Uh, today we're assembling a BP700 and uh, we're gonna show you a little bit of what goes on to, uh, to do one of these. First step, is, well, I'm gonna assemble the rods onto the crankshaft. All the bearing clearances have already been done. All the ring file fitting has been done. Blocks all machined, ready to go. It's just an assembly process now. So I'll be installing the rods onto the crankshaft. Time for some guns. Okay, so the rods are now officially on the crank and torque. Next step will be installing the crank and rods into the case halves. Yeah, so what I just did right there is uh, just a little trick that a lot of the engine builders will use. You just hit the, the crank gently, front, back, you know, just back and forth to help set the thrust.
Now, taking this extra RTV off is not necessary. It's just got OCD and I'm angle. <laughs> I think it just makes for a nicer uh, finished product. We now have the rods on the crank and the crank installed into the case halves. Um, next procedure will be starting to drop the pistons in. Well, that's it, boys and girls, all assembled. Uh, just a little clean up here and there, and uh, it'll be ready to go in a box, or if it's getting built into a long block, uh, it'll go up on a stand and get the heads installed. Hope you learned something today. I mean, uh, just old guy getting by, so uh, thanks. <laughs>